some Florida Republicans want their money back, and they're willing to go to court to get it. The contributors are suing Governor Charlie Crist for donations made to his Senate campaign when he was running as a Republican. Of course, you know now Governor Crist is no longer a Republican. Gwen Hatala is mm -hmm. in the studio this evening. Uh, at least one local man is among those suing the governor. Yeah, that's right. And we actually just got the documents in for this class action complaint. And in it includes some of the flyers for Governor uh, Charlie Crist's campaign that reads Republican candidate for United States Senate. And that really is the key here. John Root, a former U.S. ambassador to the Bahamas and founder of the Best Core Company, the major developer right here in Jacksonville, is one of the lead plaintiffs in the lawsuit. And it appears he has support from much of the Republican Party as he takes on Governor Charlie Chris. Lenny Curry, the chairman of the Republican Party of Duval County, has a close eye on a lawsuit against Governor Charlie Crist. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. He says, unfortunate, it has come to this point that Crist isn't willingly handing money back donated when he was a Republican. A lawsuit was filed last week in Collier County against the governor. The main plaintiff is Jacksonville businessman and former U.S. Ambassador John Rood. Rood has been a big contributor to the Republican Party, donating thousands over the years. Oh, he's committed to the Republican Party, to our values and our ideas, and uh, is always there when, when we need him. Federal elections records show Rude gave Chris $2,400 to run in the primary and another $2,400 for the general election. Now he wants a judge to order Chris not to use that money to finance his U.S. Senate run. That support was based on shared vision and shared ideas. The governor has now turned his back on those ideas and that vision, so I think it's reasonable to expect the donors to ask for their money back, particularly given that that money is now going to be used to compete against those ideas and that vision. Another plaintiff in the case, a woman from Naples, is fighting to keep her $500 contribution from supporting the now independent politician. Both she and Rood are being represented in the case by Republican State Representative Tom Grady. Curry says he'll be following this case as it plays out in the legal system and be on the lookout for more toss and turns this election year. This is an interesting year in politics, so nothing surprises me anymore. Now, Governor Chris's office did not return our call today, but his spokeswoman has previously said it will not refund contributions given to the campaign before Chris became a no-party candidate. We also contacted Rudes's office. His secretary says he's on vacation out at sea, so he could not be reached for contact, Shannon. Interesting. All right, we'll see if this does go to court. This would be very interesting because I don't know that we've ever we've ever seen anything it, like, like and, this And in this document that we just received, it's about 58 pages. It does say that the plaintiffs do wish to go to trial. All right, we will see. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Corinne.